Okay, so I made a video about uh, some nice atheists and it appears to be somehow controversial. I'm not exactly sure how. Could be me, you know, new at making these videos, so maybe I didn't express myself quite that clearly because people don't seem to understand what I was getting at. When I said that atheism is not an identity, when you say all atheism, is, all atheism means is a lack of belief in God. Okay, that's what you atheists tell me it means. That's not an identity. It's really not. If you have an identity that you associate with atheism, that's fine. That's your business. But that doesn't mean that it's an automatic, that doesn't mean that there's an identity automatically associated with it. And what I was talking about with Renee is quite simple. Uh, I don't really care what Renee believes. Honest to God, I honestly don't. Uh, as a general rule of thumb, he is a decent human being who acts with integrity about what he believes. What he believes when he goes home at night, you know, what book he pulls out of his bookshelf when he goes to sleep at night, that's of interest only to him. It's not between me and him. It's not between, if you want to see it in religious terms or spiritual terms, it's just between him and God. It's not between me, him, and God. I don't really, honest to God, care what he believes at all. That's why we get along, you know. If, if he wants to talk about atheism, I suppose we can. We never really do. I'm pretty sure it'd be relatively simple conversation. I don't see him... I don't see him causing a lot of like, you know, melodrama and heartache to the Christians out there. I do see him go after some, but generally speaking, it's it's for reasons that I consider to be somewhat righteous. You know, if you're an atheist and you're bashing different churches and different ministries because you think they're anti-gay or you think that they're intolerant or, you know, if you're bashing them for reasons that I find somewhat fair, I, I got no quarrel with you. Go for it. Fucking take them out. I don't care. Bash them. And if you're the Christian on the receiving end of it, answer the charge. Are you homophobic? If you're not, you shouldn't, this shouldn't bother you. Explain to them how you're not. If you are, well then, you know, you've got some atheisms on your doorstep who are going to be a problem. Deal with it. <laughs> Fucking, I don't care. I'm not helping you out. No, I don't care. I don't, I don't agree with you, with you being homophobic. Let them, you know, go for it. Atheists, take them down. You know, bug them, harass them. You know, within reason, get get the block from Ken Ham or whoever. Um, what what am I trying to say? If you are a decent human being and you operate with integrity, you and I are friends. Period. We are of the same house. I consider us the same type of people. Period. I don't really care what you believe. Oftentimes, I don't even really know. Whoever's listening to this now, I don't care what you believe. I don't know. You know. Uh, if you want to move it from Renee, let's take someone like Fumpf. Fumpf is, I think, an atheist. I read his time. I don't really sure. What he, I'm not really sure, actually. I don't really know what his, what his beliefs are. I try to figure it out by his timeline. I can't tell. But he doesn't, he doesn't, when he comes to interact with me, you know, he doesn't show up like, how could you believe this bullshit about Christianity? You Christians are all, if he, if he did, we'd have trouble getting along. He just comes to show, you know, show up to talk about South Park or whatever. Shoot the breeze. It's really, really not very complicated if you want to get along with me. It's really easy. Be a decent human being. You and I will get along. I don't care what, what kind of, you know, how you label or define yourself is up to you. You could be a lesbian anarchist. You show up in my timeline and you chat about, like, you know, nice everyday things and I find you agreeable. We're going to get along. It's not complicated. Period. If you show up looking to bust my ass, we won't get along. Period. Period. Ever. It's, it's up to you. Ball is in your court always. I take people with for what they are, and I try to do that round the boards. Doesn't, I, you know, as a rule, it's easy for me because I don't take their beliefs personally, because they have nothing to do with me personally, you know, nothing. And my, you know, I have one friend on Christian, uh, one Christian friend on Twitter, one. And you all hate her. <laughs> Everybody hates her. All the atheists hate her. Except actually Robert Reed. Robert Reed kind of sort of likes her. And I think a Renee maybe, you know, deep down inside kind of maybe doesn't totally kind of is okay with her. A little maybe sort of can stand her for a little bit. You know, I like her. But I see a different side of her than you see. She's She's cool to me. That's how I receive people. If you're cool to me, I like you. Period. Period. Even if you're, even if other people have an, an issue with you, 
you know, the atheists trip out on her because they think she's, I'm not sure exactly, maybe they're being fair to her, maybe they're not. I don't really know, I don't really care. I don't defend her when they attack her because they're atta- sometimes they're attacking her for reasons that may be valid. You know, they think she's being uh, too harsh on them or unfair to atheists or, I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't step in. There, there's no reason to. I, hopefully, if you are attacking somebody, if you are challenging somebody as an atheist, you can challenge them with integrity. And then I'll never have a quarrel with you, even me. You can challenge me in a way and say, well, you need to rethink this a little and challenge me respectfully. And, you know, you said this wrong and you approached this incorrectly. I will listen and I will try to correct myself. And we will both become the better for it. That's why I don't step in with Stephanie. Um, yeah, that's her name, Stephanie. They, you know, I, I think it may, it's making her better. I think it's improving her character and hopefully she's, she's improving her, her interactions. And I see that actually to some degree. So I defend her in private. Don't defend her publicly. I tell people in private, you know, I think she's a better person than you think she is. Um, I think she means well. I do. I wouldn't say that if I didn't. There's a couple of Christians I like. The Frosty Blue Farms guy is really nice. You know, I retweet his stuff. He gets all excited. He's, hey, thanks, Craig, for retweeting. I'm like, all right, cool. You know, at first I was a little bit like, okay, calm down. But now it's kind of won me over. It's charming. You know, even people who are difficult can win me over if I find them difficult for in ways that are he's not difficult. But even in general, people who are difficult can win me over if I find them difficult in ways that are charming. Not mentioning any names, Florida, (laughs) Florida, not mentioning any names, Florida, Florida, Florida. You know, people who can be difficult, I sometimes can be won over by them because I just get a kick out of them. But that's neither here nor there. The point is. If you think that there is some big identity to being atheist, you're probably not practicing it correctly. You know, your your identity is way too wrapped up in your beliefs. I don't consider myself like, you know, I, you could say Christians are X, Y, Z, P, D, Q, and you'll see how little it bothers me. Honestly, I see people bashing Christians every single day. I don't take it personally. Why? Because I don't consider myself those same, those same type of people. I don't consider them of my house. Period. That's why I don't spend a lot of time defending the, like, Noah's Ark, freaking, you know, the Earth is 6,000-year-old Christians. They're not similar to me. They don't believe what I believe. And frankly, Noah's Ark, you know, you know Noah's Ark, the Earth is 6,000-year-old Christians, you know, chill a little. You're not really helping. No, you're honest to God. You're not really helping the bro. You're not really, no, you're really not. You're kind of getting in the way. You know, as far as my agenda on Twitter... I don't know. I'll go into it in another video. This video is eight minutes long. It's a long time. We'll go into it in another video. We've got time. We've got time to kill. You know, whatever.